Hi everyone, welcome to Wiggin' with Christy. I'm Christy. Today I'm bringing you a review of the new Rachel Light by John Renault in the color Palm Springs Blonde. This wig was provided to me by Wig Studio One. Down below is how you can get this with Wig Studio One as well as all their social media accounts. But this is my own thoughts and opinions. So if you know Rachel in Palm Springs Blonde, the regular, is literally one of my top three wigs. I love it. I've had it over a year. It's amazing. So I'm super excited to have Rachel Light in the same color. So let's go ahead and dive into this review. All right, first, right off the get-go, I'm gonna go ahead and comb this part out. I typically put my Rachel to the right. You can go any direction with this Rachel because it is a monotop. Now right here, you're gonna see my wig grip because I have it over here. So we probably just go back over here. And it, I have it, my wig grip parted for the left. So we'll keep there on the left. So Rachel's always been like a major popular style. It's one of my favorites. It's a hand tied cap already. It has a great smart lace front and a monotop. However, she just got a facelift and she now has the Smart Lace Light, which those features are the lace front all the way around the ear tabs of the polyurethane and the silicone in the back, which I'll show you when I show you inside the cap. So it also is lighter density. There is only a 0 .3, 0 0.3 of an ounce difference with this piece. However, I can tell that the density is a lot lighter I can feel even in here in what may be crimped permatease is a lot less. There's just a tidbit here I would say that's probably a crimped, but really not. It, it feels, I can definitely tell a difference. If you love a Rachel, there's, there is definitely a difference in this piece. It's definitely not as much hair, and I like that. I think a lot of you petite ladies are going to like this Rachel because it's not gonna feel like a lot of hair. But Rachel, it, if you know, Rachel's, it doesn't feel like that much hair. I always tell clients, if you like Sarah, but Sarah's too much for you, and you want a little bit more relaxed look and there's not as much hair, go to Rachel. Well, now we have Rachel Light, which is even more lighter density. I will say this, I feel like my regular Rachel, the waves are a little bit more formatted. However, I will say this, as I see Rachel, the curls are formatted very differently per wig and that can happen. And this is what I tell clients is, is that curl, this section of hair was on a barrel and it wasn't on the same barrel at the same time with all those other colors. So there is gonna be variances in the barrel, in the curl. You know, when you put a comb through it, it's gonna relax it or your fingers. But if you wanna get more of a, a structured feel to it, cause I unparted this, you can just spritz some water, use your fingers and kind of twirl that to be in the direction you want. But note that these curly wavy styles are gonna look different wig to wig a little bit because it wasn't made on the same barrel at the same time. Does that make sense? So there is always gonna be a little bit of variances. My regular Rachel, I feel, is definitely more of that wave pattern and, that I like, and this is definitely a little bit more relaxed. Um, so I just have to say that as a discretion. The density just feels incredible. She definitely has less hair and uh, lays really nicely off the face. Now, this color does not bring the light color in the front. Uh, there is only a select colors that have that lace, that lighter color in the front of the lace fronts. So if you want to find a color that has that lighter color in the front, please reach out to us at Wig Studio One uh, Customer Support, support at wigstudio1.com, and we can look up the colors that bring that lighter cut color in the front. Right off the bat, what I can say, it off memory is like Venice Blonde it has that because it's an eight root so it brings that lighter color on the front 
12FS8 does, uh, toffee truffle, midnight cocoa, cherry chocolate, uh, especially once it gets to the darker roots wigs. This is an 18, so they don't consider that a dark root. That's when they start bringing that lighter color on the front. So it's only a select colors, regardless if it's a smart lace light collection versus the regular. And I talked about that in my, I think my review of Miranda Light, I talked about that as well. Neither my regular Rachel as well in Palm Springs Blonde or this Rachel brings that lighter platinum to the front, okay? Let's go ahead and do spend. We'll take a look at this outside. We'll look at the cap and we'll do some styling and final thoughts. Okay, so I do have to say, I didn't have this pulled real tight off my face when I was did this style, but if you want to pull tight, kind of like a pulled look, you're gonna need to apply lace. And I would, I would recommend adhesive really to get that ultimate finish to be able to style this wig really nicely, especially if you want to updo, is to go ahead and use the lace tape, and then you can use polyurethane on this side as well. So to get a smoother lay down fashion, that's what I would do. You want to avoid using your fingers on that lace. And when you take off the wig, you want to use from the nape back. So this Palm Springs Blonde color is an FS17 101 S18. Light ash blonde with pure white natural violet bold highlights shaded with dark natural ash blonde. and you'll be able to see these colors real well outside as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside this cap. Smart Lace Light Collection. It just, you can tell Rachel is lighter density just in the feel of this. Um, I love my Rachel, so I, I wear her a lot. She's one of my most pop, you know, favorite wigs and most popular that I've had. And I can, there's just such a big difference in the feel of it. So again, we have this lace polyurethane where you can apply the red tape. You can use blue tape here along this lace front and polyurethane as well with the bendable wire in there. I recommend if you're gonna pull this off the face to use lace tape along these edges, okay? That is going to allow you to pull off without that lace lifting. We have a hand tied cap, which is not new to Rachel, but it definitely you can tell there's lighter density in here in this wig. We have a silicone nape, one of my favorite features, if not favorite feature of the Smart Lace Light Collection. Then we have the Velcro adjusters here. Let's go ahead and put this on. All right, so let me know down below what you thought about Rachel. Are you gonna be getting the Rachel Light? Are you excited to try her? What color are you wanting to get her in? Are you gonna just stick with the regular uh, Rachel? Let me know down below. Again, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button, press that little bell, so you'll get a notification of when I post a new video. Don't forget to check out wigstudio1.com. Down below is a link to this piece and also all their social media accounts and our Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. I'll see you guys next time.